stay. There's some juice in the car, darling. Where is it? It's just a little bit further along. I couldn't find a space. So, how was school this morning? Lucy fell over in the playground today and cut her knee. Oh, no. Is she OK? She didn't grow anything, even when the nurse put antiseptic on her. Gosh, she's great. Oh, I spoke to Gabby's mum this morning. Guess what they're going to have at her birthday? What? A bouncy castle. Yes! Is it the kind with balls in it that you can crawl through? No, oh, I don't know. We'll have to see. They're going to put it on that lawn that they've got at the back. <coughs> Mummy, what is it? I'm sure it's nothing, darling. I've done something wrong. Would you mind turning your engine off for me, madam, please? Showing me your licence. Yes, of course. The thing is, I've, I've got an appointment. I'll try not to keep you too long. No, I, I meant if I was speeding. This is brilliant. High off the road, lots of room. Little dude after your coffee cup. New, is it? Um, about a year. You feel safer in there, I expect. What you do, uh, 13 miles to the gallon? Something like that, yes. Do you realise the damage a car like this does to the environment, madam? Damage? I'm just picking my daughter up from school. There's no harm in that. A car like this puts out about 47% more air pollution than the average car. So you might say there is harm in that. I mean, in the year you've been driving this car, instead of, say, a nice little hatchback, you've wasted more energy than you would have done if you'd left your TV on for 28 years. Mummy, why is the man telling us off? It's all right, darling. Just sit quietly for a minute. It's OK. Mummy drives me to school every day and we've never been told off before. You're right. There's nothing wrong with your mum picking you up, sweetheart. It's your car. What's wrong with it? Well, it's a lovely car. For a person. Not so good if... if you're a polar bear. That's silly. Polar bears can't drive cars. That's right. They've got all that lovely ice to run around on. Except... Except what? Well, this baby polar bear came into the station last week asking us to help her find her mum. She said that every day she went to play with her friend and when it was time to come home, she'd run and slide happily back across the ice safely with her mum. But one day on her way home, she came across a hole in the ice where it had melted. There was nothing underneath it at deep, cold water. Her well, mummy bear shouted across, jump, little bear, jump. Did she jump? Well, she ran as hard as she could and leapt as far as she could stretch and just made it across the hole, safely back with her mummy. But the next time she came home, there wasn't a hole in the ice. There was a great wide gap. She was sliding closer and closer towards it. But in a panic, she dug her claws into the ice as hard as she could and just managed to stop herself falling into the deep, cold water. Now, looking up, she could see her mummy in the distance, calling out, but she was so far away she couldn't hear. Her part of the ice had broken away completely. And as she's drifting further and further away from her mummy, the little bear gets more and more frightened because the ice she's standing on is beginning to break up and melt. Luckily, it didn't melt away completely before she found us. Why did it melt? 
The world is getting warmer. Why? Well, there's lots of reasons. But one of them is all the big cars driving around burning up too much petrol. Did the baby bear ever see her mommy again? Well, we're still looking for her. She's not back there with you. No, it's just me and mummy. Pity. If every car carried just one extra passenger, we'd save about eight billion gallons of petrol a year. Thank you, madam. Drive safely.